and welcome to this week's edition of President's Corner. You've likely heard the saying about publicity that there is no bad publicity. Any kind of publicity is great. Well, that might be debated, uh, but I think the best kind of publicity is free publicity. And that's what we're going to talk about today. What are you doing to promote your company and give it the publicity that it needs? Publicity not to be confused with marketing because publicity is just part of that marketing toolbox. So what are you doing to promote your business to get it publicity, get your name out there, whether it's your name or the name of your business out there? And it really does start with you. It starts with tooting your own horn. For some people, that's a really, really difficult thing to do. They expect everybody else to tell everyone how great they are when the reality is if you can't tell people why your business business or service is great and what makes you unique, what that unique selling proposition is, well then you really can't expect others to do it for you. So you've got to toot your own horn. Be very concise in your message, why you do what you do, what separates it from others, and how you're going to impact your customer um, with your product or service. Um, next is insider buzz. You have to have your staff buy into your mission as well as your product or service. Some of the best jobs I ever had with sales was when I worked for a company that I completely believed in their product. I wasn't selling anything, I was simply providing an opportunity for my customer. And you've got to make sure that your staff, your employees, your partners all buy into your mission and what makes your product or service really, really great because again, they can be great ambassadors for your company in addition to your tooting your own horn. Um, and then we think about social media. Don't discount the advantage and the um, leg up that social media can give you. Just remember that it's not about selling something on social media, it's about building relationships and educating and inspiring. From there, that's how you build those relationships and ultimately they become a customer. And then, of course, last is on um, public speaking. Not everybody is a public speaker. I know there's a great um, line by uh, um, uh, Seinfeld, Jerry Seinfeld, by Jerry Seinfeld, and, and it's, it's in my um, post this week, so you can read it. But not everybody is a public speaker but there are great opportunities. We have so many organizations within our community that are always looking for speakers. So look at those organizations, see which ones might be a good fit, submit three topics that would be pertinent for their audience, and send it in. But here's the key this week, is make sure that you tell them you would be more than willing to stand in if they have a last minute cancellation. That was the key that got me into my first speaking gig, and from there, the rest is history. So if you're comfortable with public speaking or might have someone that could step in for you and be the face for your public speaking, I would encourage it. It's probably the best way to have a captive audience where you can share your message and get your name and your product or service out there. So hopefully that helps. Some publicity tips for growing your business. Make it a great week.